Hi there guys, it's uh, Tim G5TM and um, well, I managed to cure my RF in the shack. Let's see what I did. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, think about clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell. You can give me a thumbs up if you want to. And uh, if you're a regular, then as I always say, and I mean this, great to have you back. So you uh, may remember uh, my most recent video, I uh, attempted to put up a doublet, 94 foot, just over 29, 28, 29 meters uh, to get onto 80 meters in the small garden. And uh, I suffered from some RF in the shack. Well, I've been playing around a bit with the configuration and I've managed to get to the bottom of the problem. And uh, I'll tell you in a second what I did. But uh, thankfully now that the doublet uh, doesn't give me any problems at all with a full 100 watts. No feedback, no, no, nothing back in the, in the earphones and uh, no RF bytes or anything. And it also allows me to tune on various bands as well, all the way through from 80 through 10 meters. So that's nice. Anyway, let me show you what I did and uh, a lesson that I learned and I'd like to pass on to you. Let's have a look. So here's the ladder line now coming straight down the uh, non-conductive fiberglass pole into the one-to-one -one current ballon. I did that in the dark, so it was a bit of a, a bit of a lash-up job. I had to take about uh, two meters off the ladder line. And then, as you can see, I had the RG58, skinny bit of scrap RG58, running along the, the bottom of the shack, into the shack there, into the manual tuner. And it works. No RF in the shack at all. So I redirected the ladder line straight down. And, of course, that's the ideal way to run it. So then it looks like the feed line was, uh, well, one of two things was happening, or maybe two things were happening. Uh, as it was coming down and going across just above the, uh, just pointing out to the, the window there, um, then basically um, it was either coupling with the the left hand leg, as I, as you saw it, or the right hand leg, as you saw it from the, from the, um, from the house on the previous video, or uh, even with it higher, it still wasn't doing, it wasn't stopping the, um, the RF in the shack, or this is quite possibly the case, it was just too close to the building and it was causing the ladder line to become imbalanced. Um, funny enough though, when I did exactly the same layout with the 15 meter long 50 foot doublet, um, there was no problem. Uh, there was no radiation at all, so hey, I don't know. It didn't, it didn't become imbalanced at all then, but uh, okay, fair enough. So what I did, as you saw, just ran it down the pole into a one-to-one uh, -one current ballon. Not ideal with that run of coax into the shack, really. Uh, there's some losses there. But um, worked 80 metres, no problem at all. Uh, all over the UK, into Central Europe. So that's my main aim. And of course, I work full time, which means that I don't get to play a lot of radio during the day. It's all in the evening for me. And of course, by then, 20 metres and up are all closed. Uh, 40 metres should be okay with this to mooch around Europe a bit. And um, hey, there we are. So... Uh, yeah, mission accomplished in that sense. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is get my auto tuner um, repaired. So there's a very small low shed, which you probably might have seen, uh, which is next to the central pole there. I can run the lad line down into that like I've done before with a previous install. And I'll put a little, little note up there for you to have a look at that if you want to. Um, where the lad line goes into the one-to-one -one ballon and a very short piece of thick coax into the auto tuner. So I'll hopefully negate some of the losses I'll have in that sort of skinny run of scrap RG58 that I currently got uh, operating between the, the ballon and the, uh, the manual tuner here. But it was just done really to see whether I could negate the RF in the shack. That was the most important thing. Now I've achieved that. Um, now what I can now do is look at um, making sure I can sort of minimise those losses still further. But I need to get the auto tuner repaired. So that's the next job. Uh, but as it stands at the moment, it's got me on the air, it works, and I'm happy with that for now. Um, future plans, I'm going to look at a couple of other antenna ideas for 80 metres. Uh, hopefully in the next few weeks I'll have a go at putting up a trap dipole, 40 and 80 metre, which again is a shortened version for 80 metres there, but a full half wave on 40. Might feed that initially with coax, and then have a go at feeding it with ladder line, just to see what sort of effect it would have as a doublet. So that'll be good fun as an experiment. And that'll be a bit shorter than this one. It'll be about, uh, probably about 75 feet long, which is about 21, no, 22 meters, something like that. So that'll be a bit shorter. And uh, the other one will be an N-fed half wave, which I've mentioned before, um, which I'll either do as an inverted V across here or maybe across the garden. We'll see how it goes. So there we go, uh, problem solved. And uh, well, let's see how she performs. I'm quite happy with her so far anyway, on 80 meters. 
Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe and click that notification bell. Otherwise, great to have you on board anyway, and thanks for watching. Tim G5 TM wishing you 73 and good luck with uh, whatever you get up to on this new lockdown for the UK. Take care of yourself and stay safe. Bye-bye.